Hello. Welcome to Ecommerce Expert, the absolute commerce, money and invest. Have you ever thought about starting your own farm? If you're like most, you probably pictured a field of cows or a field full of chicken coops. But farming is about more than these traditional animals. If you're looking to start a farm with high profits, you may want to think outside of the box. After all, the world is changing and so are people's tastes and wants. Sometimes it just takes some creativity to find your niche. The farming industry is one of the oldest and most well-established industries in the world. It's also one of the most diverse, with farmers growing everything from corn to cacao. But did you know that some farmers are growing animals that aren't your typical livestock? For many farmers, the most profitable farming is the weirdest farming. Some of these options are things you would never think of, but there are people who are making hundreds of thousands, even millions, with them every year. The world is full of weird things, and one of the weirdest, but most profitable, trends in agriculture is farming for insects. Insects are hardly a new source of food. It's estimated that 2 billion people eat insects as part of their regular diet. But not everyone thinks the idea is appetizing. So, if you're looking for a way to make money by selling to the masses, let's take a look at four of the weirdest, and most lucrative, farming ventures that have some of the highest profit margins and return on investment. 1. Snake farming for human consumption. Many people eat snakes, and they're willing to pay big money for it. Snake farming has been around for millennia, but snake farming for human consumption is an industry that's only been around since the 1990s. Snakes are a delicacy in countries from China to the Philippines. The USDA is allowing for the importation of frozen snakes from countries like Sri Lanka. Snake meat is naturally high in protein, magnesium and iron, and it has been used medicinally in traditional Chinese medicine for centuries. Today. Snake meat is gaining popularity with human consumers thanks to its rich taste and health benefits. In some countries, snakes are a delicacy. Snake is eaten right along with chicken, pork, beef, and everything else we're used to chowing down on. But there aren't many snake farmers in the US yet. If you can get into it early, you'll be able to charge more than the going rate for your product, and make a killing doing it, literally. If you're interested in becoming a snake farmer, you'll want to know some basics about snakes first, how long it takes them to mature, how many litters they can produce per year, and what kind of habitat they need to be happy, and therefore produce more offspring. Snakes can be profitable if you can get enough of them reproducing quickly. Snake farming can be lucrative because of the high demand and low startup cost. All that is required is some land to build pens with a few simple structures and a little money to buy some baby snakes. It's important not to overfeed the snakes as they grow so that they'll reach eating size within three years. Because of their rapid growth rate, there will likely be seven or eight generations before you need to replace your original snakes. 2. Fly farming for used in Botox and cosmetics, yes, really. Fly secretions are used in a variety of products, but they're not easy to get without a fly farm. The beauty industry has been buzzing about fly silk lately, a protein with similar properties to collagen that's secreted by flies. Fly larvae are used in cosmetics, especially anti-aging products. Flies can be used for many things, including fishing bait and composting operations. However, Flies are most used in Botox and cosmetic products like mascara and lip gloss. One fly farm near Madison, Wisconsin has been successful raising black soldier flies specifically for catch and release fishing bait and composting worms for vermicomposting operations. Black soldier flies are easy to raise, require very little space. If you think fly farming sounds gross, you're right, maggots don't make very appetizing snacks. But they do have other uses. Maggots can be used to produce silk, yes, real silkworms are maggots. They can also be used as feed for reptiles and fish, or as fertilizer for plants. We know flies don't sound like something anyone would want to eat, but believe it or not, they're actually really good for you. They're packed with protein and healthy fats, plus they contain important nutrients like iron and calcium that most other meats don't have. Plus they're high in omega-3s. 
But even though everyone should be eating flies as part of their diet already, most people don't. 3. Mosquito farming for mosquito nets. This one is pretty strange but effective. Mosquitoes can be harvested and used to create mosquito nets that keep mosquitoes away from where you don't want them. If you have mosquitoes and live near a big city, this could be very lucrative indeed. Mosquito nets can be made from mosquito silk, which comes from mosquitoes that have been fed artificial diets made of yeast. 4. Worm farming for fishing into bait hooks online, fishing equipment can be expensive if you don't make it yourself, so this is something you can start doing. Each of these farms has a low startup cost, as well as a high profit margin. The startup cost is especially low when compared to some other farms that require more land and equipment. The high profit margin is a result of the current demand and lack of supply for each product. For example, the demand for Botox is increasing yearly, and fly farming not only provides flies for use in Botox production but also provides flies excrement, which is used in cosmetics. Additionally, there is currently a high demand for fish bait. This demand is expected to continue rising as the population rises over the next 20 years. As a result, worm farms will be able to make quite a bit of money selling worms as bait. The trick with all of them is that they are so new and strange, they don't have a lot of competition yet. So if you can get in on it early, you're set to make a killing. For the most part, farming is pretty straightforward, grow some crops and sell them. Sometimes you need to plan the crop rotation, or muck out the stalls, but generally speaking, it's not too complicated. Thank you for watching and subscribe, like, share and leave a comment on your view.